This week, we answer a question from a listener who writes, I work with some native speakers of English. I want to practice speaking with them, so I improve my English. But sometimes I get nervous, so our conversation ends quickly. How can I talk with these friends for a longer time? You are right. It is not always easy to keep a conversation going in English. You might not be sure about what to say. Or maybe you are afraid that your pronunciation is not good. First, remember the importance of listening. Listen to the other person carefully so that you can ask a follow-up question. For example, let's say the other person tells you, I just got back from a trip to Canada. You can follow up with a question using who, what, where, when, why, or how. Where did you go in Canada? What was your favorite place there? How was the food there? If you want to keep a conversation going, it's a good idea to ask questions that cannot be answered with a simple yes or no. If the other person asks you a yes or no question, try to give a longer answer to help keep the conversation going. For example, a friend might ask, Hey, have you seen the new Star Wars movie? You could just answer, no, I haven't, or you could say more. You could answer, no, but I plan to see it soon. How about you? Do not worry about your pronunciation. If your pronunciation is a little different, the other person will still understand your message if you try speaking slowly and clearly. When you are traveling in an English-speaking country and have some free time, be brave and speak in English with someone who does not look too busy. You may make a new friend. Thanks for watching. If you like this video, make sure to subscribe for more.